So the question for all of us to think is, in schools, what kind of things computers do better than teachers? What kind of things computers do more efficiently that means cost less than human teachers? And then when and what human teachers must involve themselves? If you think about learning a foreign language, a lot of them is mechanical. A lot of them is individualized exposure. So that is, if you start by watching multimedia video, I can a lot of people watch Friends. Just think about it. So Friends is a very useful of learning English in China. And so you, you get, it's just, I don't know why, but it's not. So you watch it. You know, the process, if you know, the, any foreign language learning comes from really the process like exposure, you're exposed to it, which you can control the materials, it's authentic, it's individualized. And second thing is practice, exercise, you know, pronunciation, grammar, vocabulary. Then you move on to the human interaction, that is the social actually applying, using it. It's a very simple process. But yet, in the traditional classroom of 70 students, you can't really do much. You know, teachers, what can you do? You watch it, you cannot individualize it. If the word I don't know, I cannot go, go back, I cannot get to a dictionary. But with a computer, you can slow down, you can speed up, you can connect to a dictionary, you can memorize, you can do right away. So we design personalized, so every student needs to do, first of all, spend two hours with a computer system, get the mechanics right, practice pronunciation, you're listening, you know, without interference, nobody's laughing at you. But all of those things are necessary. Then they need to meet with a teacher to apply it. So that we did, we transform the whole country so that the teachers are not going to lectures to 70 students. Instead, they're meeting with 10 students, or 12 students, or 5 students. And all the five students were organized up if they have finished all the lessons. There's assessment, if they got a basic sum, they rearrange it. So that's a systematic change. No school should consider itself have the sufficient resources just locally to help every child. Because your child comes from so many places. Now with the technology, today's technology, you can reach other places. I'm hesitant to use this word, but I have used outsourcing. You have to think about educational outsourcing. If you have five students who truly wants to pursue advanced algebra or calculus, but you don't have the teachers, outsource it to Singapore, to China, to India. Do the same thing. If you have someone that says you want someone who does, uh, let's say, fashion design, get someone from New York. Personalize that, individualize that. At the same time, view yourself as a global asset. What you can offer can also be supporting others. I can say, think about the same thing now. Jennifer and Larry, are you here? You can perhaps run, as you already do, online courses how to do PBL to other places. Your students can serve as resources for others. Your students can run businesses. The one thing I'm suggesting actually in England was giving lectures. I said, you guys should um, provide English tutoring services, the high school students to the Japanese students. They'll be happy to pay you. Well, you can buy math courses from Singapore, you know, from those students. <laughs> because they would love to have you guys correct their English. Of course, you have a kid's English, but in, I, I'm sure San Diego English is as good, you know, just, just, just <laughs> no, maybe it's closer, you know. But you can do the same thing, so just view it as global enterprise. And today, just consider technology has become appliance. It has resulted in something called the, the death of distance. The death of distance in terms of information transmission, both in terms of cost, and speed. So whenever whatever you're thinking about technology, think from that perspective. I think education, we need to move to democracy. It truly supports individualized, personalized learning goals. No tracking, self-selection. Respect that. At the same time, technology has made it possible. Thank you. For more information, visit hitechhigh.org.